Welcome back to the Ivory Trust YouTube channel. Today's guys will be learning how to make this beautiful mono strap baby girl dress. So it has one full shoulder and the other side is an off shoulder. And we use this strap just to hang it like that. So the lower part is a double net double combination of net and satin fabric and it is gathered around the waistline and it's really beautiful and simple to make if this is what you like to learn kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial thank you okay so to make this we are going to be cutting the half length first and to cut the half length the half length i'm working with is 10 inches so i'm adding one inch allowance to this making 11 inches which is what i have here and as usual i'm folding the front and back together so this is the back so i fold it into two first and then i'm going to be folding it over again leaving one inch for my zipper allowance so this is the center front and this is the center back okay so the next thing to do now is to note my neck measurement so the neck width i'm working with is two and quarter inches and then for the neck depth, although I don't really need this, I just want to put it as an indication because this is an asymmetric neckline. So I'm just going to put two inches. I'm going to draw it like this, but I'm not going to cut it out. And then the shoulder measurement I'm working with is 10 inches. Divided by two is going to give me five inches, which is this. And on my shoulder slope here, I'll go down by half inch. And then I'll connect that to the neck line like this. Okay, so my armhole measurement is 5 inches and on that point I'll take my round chest measurement which is 21 divided by 4 is going to give me 5 and quarter which is this and then for the waistline the waistline measurement is 20 so divided by 4 is going to give me 5 and half so I'm going to rule that I'm rushing this because we've done this over and over so by now I'm sure we know how to draft this so the next thing now is to draw my ham o curve and I'm going to be using my curve driller to do that. So now my ham o curve is drawn. Okay. So I'm just trying to get the better root. Okay, so I think this is better. So you should get your actual ham o curve. Now I'm going to be adding my seam allowance to this. And then I'm just eyeballing it. I'm adding around one inch seam allowance. So now the next thing is to cut this out. Okay, so now this is cut out now. The next thing I'll do now is to hold my zipper allowance in place. And then I'm going to notch it on the neckline area so that it will be feasible. Remember I said I'm not cutting it out. And then I'll open this out to draft my asymmetric neckline. So now depending on the side you want the neckline to go with, okay. So this is the back now. And then I'm going to be placing the front on it like this. So, like I said, I notched my neckline area, so th which, which is this. So now, I want it on this side. I'll just take my curve driller now and connect, curve it from that place all the way to my ham hole. So I'm just trying to get a suitable curve there. And then once I'm okay with what I have, I'm going to draw out that line. And then I'll cut it out. So now you cut two of these. I'm using the same fabric as my lining also. So I'm going to be cutting out two of these. One will be for my main fabric and one will be for my lining. So this is what I have now. You can see it's an asymmetric neckline. So I can easily detach this now. And then I'll go ahead to cut out my lining. So now cutting out the line, let me just quickly explain what I'm going to be doing. I'll cut out the lining now and then I'll use it to turn each other. Okay. Then after turning out, for turning them out, I'm going to sew them by the side. Okay, so like I said, I've gone ahead to cut lining for each of them and then I went ahead to turn each with the lining. So this is the front and these are the two center backs. I've already turned them with sew the lining on them. Main fabric, right side facing right side. So now I'm going to be turning it out. And then I turned everything. I just left the shoulder part, okay? Because this is going to be a sleeveless. So I want the sleeve area to be neat. So I've neatly turned everything out okay 
so i'm still going to add a strap on this side so i'm just going to lose it a bit and so because i forgot when i was turning so i'm just going to lose a bit there and then add my strap so let me just show us okay here i'm still going to sew it on this side also so this is the back okay so this is the front and these are the two backs okay like this so now i'll place it on each other now and then sew it on the side and then i'm also going to sew the shoulder together so the way i'm going to be turning the shoulder i don't want it to be rough so because this is the front this is the back i'm just going to be inserting them in each other like this and then after bringing it out i'm going to sew on it so that by the time i turn it it's going to be neatly finished both in and out so I'll go over to the machine now and do that. Okay, so I've gone ahead to join the shoulder together. You can see how neat it is both inside and out. And then I use the lining to turn everything also. And the arm, oh, look at the arm hole. Okay, so I've added my strap to it. And this is what my strap is looking like. And the measurement I used for this strap is seven inches as you can see so you just need to add half half inch to it to make it inch eight inches and then you suspend it inwards so you can see how i just put it inside in between my fabric and main and lining in between the fabric and the main line so the next thing now is to put them together now and then shape the side then we'll work on the lower part okay so now as you can see i've joined it together on the side and when you turn it out this is what it is looking like and you can see how neat nice this is so now the next thing is to cut out the net so for the net as you can see there are two layers of net so i'm using a total of two yards of net so i'll be cutting it in small small pieces and then i'll join it so for the first layer i'll be cutting a length of length 10 inches okay so I'm doing this so that I can actually save fabric. I see I just have two yards of two nets to work with. So for the longest part, I'm using a two net of 10 inches. And then for the short one, that's the one on top. I'm using a net of length five inches. Okay. Five inches. So I'm going to be cutting it by 60 and then i'll join remember i said i'm using two yards of fabric so i'll just fold the fabric then i'll cut a very long i'll cut them in bits and then i'll join it together to form very long strap for me so now if you notice you will see that the door face is also on the lower part of the fabric so i'll be cutting out a door face of five inches and then i'll sew it to the net just like this so you can see what i have here so here my net, this is for the longest part, my length is 10 inches as you can see. Then I cut out a door face of 5 inches. So after sewing it now, it's giving me around 3 and a half inches. So I cut out a door face of 5 inches and then I sew it to the net and then I top stitched on it. So that it won't be poking out. So you can see how flat it is looking now. Then I went ahead to hem it on the hemline. So this one is for the one with 10 inches and like I said, I'm going to be joining it so you can see my joining now just trim it off so that it won't be so noticeable so I just joined it to form one long strip so this is for the long one and this is for the short part which is five inches so my net is five inches like we measured so this is my net which is around five inches and then I went ahead to cut a bridal satin sorry bridal satin of five inches also then I sew it together so like I said I was managing my fabric as me i have enough fabric you can decide to cut a total net of 10 inches for your short length and then you place your net on it so that on this door face will also be on the net but because i'm managing my fabric i just have to cut them a bit and join together now so now after cutting the two i'm going to place them on each other so this is the long one and this is the short one Okay. Next thing I'm going to do now is to place the short one on the long one. So this is the long one and this is the short part. Okay. So after placing it on it like this, I'm going to gather it. I'm going to gather everything 
to my actual waist measurement of 22 inches i hope you understand that okay after joining my dove my the, my bridal satin to the net the five inch and five inch for the short five inch and ten inches for the for the long one i'm going to be placing the long and short on each other like this okay let me just adjust okay i'm going to be placing it on each other like this then on the upper part here i'm going to gather it okay i'm going to gather it for it to form this wavy effect that i have now i'm going to gather it then i'll bring it back to show us Okay, so I've gone ahead to gather it to the 22 inches and you can see how bouncy this is looking, okay? So I've gathered it, this is the short one and this is the long one. And there is no crino line in this and you can see it's still giving me that wavy effect because I top stitched on it. So now I have the lower part now and in the lower part I'll be lining it with the same satin. Remember this is the net and we don't want the body to be showing. So now to cut my satin, I'm going to be using my waist measurement which is 22 inches for my circumference and to get the radius i'll divide 22 inches by 6.28 like i'm cutting my full circle flare and that is going to give me around three inches thereabouts and then from there i'm going to be measuring my length remember the longest length for this is 10 inches of net plus five inches of brighter satin that's a total of 15 inches so i'm making the length of my lining which is going to be in it to be 11 inches so this is what i have here now and then i went ahead to open it on one side so now i'm going to be placing this now on the radius of the flare like this i'm going to sew it on it like this now and then i'm going to after sewing it on it to so hold this i'm going to sew it around my waistline then i'll bring it back to show us what we have okay so now i've attached it to the main bodies and you can see what this is looking like so this is the back and then i want to fix my zipper on the back okay so this is what we'll have so i want to hide this small bow on this shoulder area so i'm just going to be placing it on the shoulder now and then i'm going to tack it just to beautify it more Okay, so the bow is attached now as you can see and you just beautify it on that area and you can see how simple it is to achieve this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, let us know in the comment section. Like, comment and subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.